hello guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is from Melonia mentor it says jordan peterson stomped a trans activate with a simple question on pronouns i love mr jordan peterson i love him so much let's check out the video please people who make your kinds of arguments are always concerned with other people's safety i'm concerned with my own safety my just so that people are aware my physical emotional life and livelihood is at risk from being here. That's a line we should not cross. We should not allow the government to decide which words we're allowed to use. It's a mistake. I thought it was an axiom, say, of feminism, for example, that the personal was political. And isn't that the... That's a famous well, phrase, the personal is political. Okay, the but personal speak is political when someone is attacking you on a basis that is personal and that you can't change about yourself. That's a, that is political, and that's when people sometimes become politicized, is when they realize that no matter what they do in the world, there will be people who will continue to attack them on racist grounds, on gender and sexual violence grounds, and that's why people start to fight back, and that's why people object. And your, but, and your attempts to regulate my language use and... I don't care about your language use. I care about the safety of the people who are being harmed. I know. Pe people who make your kinds of arguments are always concerned with other people's safety. I'm concerned that with my own safety. My Just so that people are aware, my physical, emotional life and livelihood is at risk from being here. And that's not in true of everyone. To mine, say. I don't know about yours because yes, I don't you do. live you know your life. You know perfectly well about mine. I do you know, know that you have tenure letter. and that that's one of the major ways that you're able to do this. Um, but I just want people to be aware that trans and gender, gender diverse communities and especially uh, people of color are being targeted and threatened physically. So free speech is a great idea and equality is a great idea, but we actually can't have those conversations when people are not even able to be present. I mean, basically, Jordan is arguing that this is going to create chaos and anarchy and that it's, that it's essentially a Marxist plot that is there to sow violence and there to sow confusion um, and topple any kind of hierarchy. Can I just jump in there for a second? Is that an accurate characterization of your view on really this? I listened really closely to that tape. Okay. I think it is. is it, in your view, has she accurately characterized where you're coming from? Um, there, it's not a transsexual cabal by any stretch of the imagination. Um, is it a cabal of radical left-wingers? Yes, it's a cabal of radical left-wingers. And they've been active behind and in front of the scenes in, increasingly over the last 30 years. And my estimation is that Departments like Women's Studies have trained between 300,000 and 3 million radical left-wing activists, and they're making... And they're all underpaid, so don't worry. <laughs> well, they could pick higher-paying occupations if they wanted higher-paying occupations, but... Because sexism does not exist. Are you kidding let's, me? Let's not get off topic here, but, folks. When the suggestion is made that somehow, if we have words that don't fit into a, a, something that we're very familiar with and that we've used to date, that chaos will ensue, that everyone will well, be confused. There's, there's two, I don't believe that. There's no evidence of that historically. I, I, I hear you, but the, there was no law obliging people to use the word Actually, mint. But there were laws to oblige people to change the way that we referred to black people, for example. You know, there was, there was a time when there were any number of words that we now can only say as letters in polite company. And that evolved. Those things changed. When I was a teenager, people were still using those words. Um, so and this is a natural evolution in your This view. is a natural evolution, and nobody's chaos will not ensue. If it's a natural evolution, then we don't need hate speech law to enforce it. But, yeah. but we obviously we do, situation. because we can drive social change, and it doesn't all have to lead to chaos, is, is my point. And, and I think that you know we have seen the flip side of Jordan's argument, I think, has in fact, we do have a historical record of that. So when it was left to others to name people, we lost indigenous names. I come from, my mother's from Ireland. She was from a generation that finally got to learn her own language again. She couldn't even speak Gaelic to her parents because they hadn't been allowed to speak it. So we know we've seen the effect when people can't use their own language, when they can't use their own names. Okay, and, and let me get Jordan to respond to that. A natural evolution of things, Jordan. That's it, how it's look, being described. Words are tools. Um, Maybe that was one of the great philosophical discoveries of the 20th century. And, and that means, and people are always looking for new tools to operate in the world. And if you invent a good tool, like a new word, then people will pick it up just as fast as they possibly can. You really see that in English. But the words that are being required now are not good tools, and that's why people aren't using them. And so instead what we have is the use of force, despite the fact that that's being denied. 
um, although we've already established that at least in the opinion of one of the people on this panel, I'm already guilty of a hate crime, which is what I said I was guilty of when I made that video. We're, Steve, the issue with the law is quite straightforward. The government is responding, is requiring us to use certain language. That's not the same as not using certain language. And it's a line, and this is the fundamental issue. This is maybe the fundamental issue. That's a line we should not cross. We should not allow the government to decide which words we're allowed to use. It's a mistake. And it's a mistake that strikes right at the heart of free speech. And the thing about free speech is that it's not the right to criticize your uh, leaders, which is what people usually characterize it as. It's freedom of speech is freedom to engage in the processes that we use to formulate the problems in our society to generate solutions to them and reach a consensus. It's actually a mechanism. It's not just another value. And you should put constraints on free speech with the, well, I mean, I think that, that the real problem here is that there's a concerted attempt made, being made by many people to subvert all values to the value of equality of outcome. And we need more than one value, first of all, if we're going to survive as a society, because you can't solve every problem with the same approach. But there are more insidious things, in my estimation, going on underneath. I mean, even the uh, missive that you just read said that, well, even providing me with a platform, let's call it, to express my views, is something that shouldn't be allowed. It's like, yes, that's why I made the video. I, it was because many people are claiming that the expression of these sorts of views should no longer be permitted. And it's this view for now, but this is a minor issue in some ways compared to the larger issue that's at stake, which is there are right to have discussions of this sort at all. Like, I mean, one thing that happened right when we started this was that there was an initial claim, for example, that there's no such thing as biological sex. Well, I believe quite firmly that if we continue on our present path at the universities for five more years, that's a discussion we will not actually be able to have on campuses. Because, because it will be... By fiat, I mean, the legislation already implicitly presumes that, that biological sex, gender identity, and gender expression, which we haven't even talked about yet, very independently. That is simply not true. These people need help. They need help and I wish the government will give them the help they need instead of encouraging their rubbish. But of course, how would the devil thrive if, he's, if he doesn't have his agent doing his biddings? Yes, if you are listening to me, it's possession, they've been possessed by the devil because that's the only way they are doing what they are doing. Somebody who is a grown man who sits and decides that. Well, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care. Bye.